and welcome to Jay's Reviews. Are you ready to jump into the kitchen? In Cooks and Crooks, you are battling it out to see who can make the most dishes while making sure nothing extra gets added. Let's hit the table. Cooks and Crooks by Ether Tower and Detestable Games. Plays two to five players. Good for ages eight and up. Plays in about 20 to 30 minutes. Setup. From the box, take out the five character dashboards. Each player picks one and places it in front of them. Next, take out the cards from the box. Shuffle well and give each player a starting hand of three. Place the rest of the cards in a face-up pile. This will be the draw deck. The discard pile will be next to this and all cards going into it will be face down. Next, out of the box, take out the five different dishes. Pizza, hamburger, soup, burritos, and Slovaki. Shuffle each dish type and place them in a circle around the draw pile, all face down. At this point, all players look over their hands and have the option to discard and draw up to three cards. Each player picks a dish and places it face up on their oven. You are now ready to play. How to play. First player is chosen by who was the last person to eat. The game is played over six rounds. Each round is broken into four steps. Starting with the first player and going clockwise, each player does the following. One, supply pantry. You may discard as many cards as you want from your hand. This also means none as well. Draw up to three cards without going over seven in your hand. When drawing cards, they must be visible to all players when drawn. Two, actions. You can do one of three actions. Pantry raid. Take two cards from an opponent. Out of those two cards, you can keep one and replace it with one from your hand. If you don't like anything that you got from them, you can return both cards back to your opponent without taking anything. Two, oven theft. Take one card from another player's oven and put it into your hand. At the same time, place a card that is needed for the dish face up in the place of the card you just stole. Radioactive cards that are acting as ingredients can't be stolen. Clean oven. Take one card from your oven and put it into your hand. If you have a full oven, you can take up to two cards instead of one. This is the only way to remove sabotage cards from your oven. Prepare dish. On this step, you can put up to three cards face up in your oven that matches your dish. If at the end of this step, you have all ingredients needed for your dish, it scores out. If a player has been sabotaged, they will have to minus any trash cards in their oven. Pick a new dish and place it face up in your oven. Note that you cannot pick the same dish type that you just completed. Card types. Main ingredient cards. Cheese, tomato, mushroom, onion, meat, lettuce, and dough. There are also some special cards. Grandma's Mystic Seasoning can replace any ingredient card you are missing. You can only use one per dish. Radioactive cards. There is one radioactive card for each dish type. When used in the right dish, it can give them a bonus of five points. If used to sabotage, We'll give a dish a minus five points. Sabotage. This is where trash cards come into play. Pick an opponent and place one trash card or radioactive card face down in your opponent's oven. You can only do this if there is room in their oven. Once each player is taken a turn, the round counter is turned to the next hour. At the end of the sixth and last round, if a player is able to score a dish, they are immune to other players' sabotage. If a player is not able to finish a dish in the last round, they score their ingredients in their oven along with their other dishes. Player with the highest score wins. I simply loved this game. It's easy to teach and is very family friendly. The design of the player boards is very unique as well. The fact that the steps are all written out on the dashboard also helps younger players remember what they need to do next. The mechanics might seem simple, but there's a lot of strategy behind how you're going to play your sabotage cards or what you'll be doing during your main phase. 
One of my favorite things about this game is the artwork. Everything from the characters to the trash cards to just the simple ingredients are very well done and, and wonderful. I give this Jay's seal of approval. If you want, you can also check the link below. It's currently live on Kickstarter. Hope to catch you next week at the table.